Hi everyone, I am Sunja Microsoft MVP. Today I would like to share with you about how to get started with Visual Studio Team Services. For today agenda, I will share with you about introduction of Visual Studio Team Services VSDS. After the introduction, I will share with you about a demo. Why? I want to share this Visual Studio Team Services because during my university and during my hackathon, I am passing the pen drive to my team bag. Inside my pen drive, I've got source code. And currently, a lot I attend a lot of hackathon also happen the same way, passing the source code to their teammate. What is Visual Studio Team Services? Visual Studio Team Services is a application lifecycle management tool. Visual Studio Team Services provide an integrated, collaborative environment that support Git, continuous, integrate, and agile tools. What are the three main key of the Visual Studio Team Services? First, source control to manage versioning of source code file. Second, tracking tools to support planning and tracking work. Code defect issue and so on third one devops tools to support building testing and continuous release of software application what are visual studio team services git agile tools tools for java team release management devops testing tools cloud-based root testing and so and so on before I go to a demo, please make sure you have Microsoft account. The second one is you must install Visual Studio 2017 into your laptop or machine. Let's go for demo. Okay, let's go for Visual Studio Dev. Essential. Okay, before that, you must sign in with your Microsoft account. You go to a Visual Studio Dev Essential, you select a free Visual Studio, and you will see a your benefit through a Visual Studio Dev Essential. You can see a Visual Studio Team Services. If you want to know more about Visual Studio Dev Essential benefit, you can click join us. But today we focus on Visual Studio Team Services and create free account. Then you are came to your Visual Studio Team Service profile. You saw a lot of my Visual Studio Collaboration tools through Team Services. Then you can create a new account or use the existing account. You create a new account. And still, I put a student Xamarin because later I will show you about you are collaboration tools for the project of Xamarin and click funding is creating account because this link studentjamarin.wishstudio.com 
you can share with your friend, your teammate, to collaborate, to finish your project, and increase the speed of delivery of your project. How to invite your friends, your teammate to the same project? You go to the right hand side. Yeah, go a member. Then you click the plus sign to invite your friends, your designer, developer, team lead. And close this. Then you can saw this one studentgermany.com. The visual studio. The com slash git. My first project. Then you go in Visual Studio or other IDE software development tools. Then you click Visual Studio. Then open Microsoft Visual Studio. Blah blah. blah select it. Then it's launch your Visual Studio for one seven. Then okay, sign in your Microsoft account again. In the password. Go to our team explorer. Then clone the application folder. Enter your password again. And click sign in. After that, go back to your Team Explorer tab. Yeah, go to a solution, click in. Then we select a cross platform, cross platform app domain, app student. Name your project as app student. And click OK. Why I select a Xamarin? Because after continuous video, I will use this uh, demo to expand more or introduce more uh, um, introduce you more about the uh, benefit of using Visual Studio Team Services then click OK and so I have blend app, portable cast library, and click OK. Then waiting, we should still create the Android application, iOS application, Windows UWP application.
and ok and close this one remember agent because I does not use map then close it to say this is a plus sign that means that your source code does still doesn't not synchronize to a Visual Studio Team Services server in the cloud. Go to a Team Explorer, create a change, and you put a command commit first and commit all. Then go back to the scene and you push your source code to a server. The server is in the cloud. And go back to a solution explorer. The icon all from a plus sign to change a lot of sign. That means you already commit or check in your source code to the server and go back to your Visual Studio Team Services and go to your code and file. Then you can see that the source code already inside the Visual Studio Team Services server, which is in the cloud. That's all for today's demo. If you want to know more about benefit of Visual Studio Dev Essential, please go to the website. You want to know more about or explore more about Visual Studio Team Services? Please go to the URL. That's all for today. Thank you, everyone. If you got anything, you can contact me from a Twitter at Elias Jia That's all for today. Thank you very much.